Hey YouTube, quick video on this uh, on this flux. I was really skeptical about this flux actually in the beginning because I did read some uh, reviews that it might be a little bit toxic. I mean, it might be, but this thing works really well actually. This one I got from uh, Mobile Centrix, Kingbo RMA218. This is, uh, I don't know, like I've been using this flux more, more and more for uh, regular repairs not not to be not the bga repairs and it seems to work really well it seems to flow really nice and it's it doesn't run away from the uh uh from the solder you know from the from the job i'm actually doing right now the flex uh the uh flex gate repair on uh, 2000 uh, to, uh, 2016 15 inch macbook pro screen and i'm gonna show you you know how how nicely it it works actually i, I really like it really like it because uh the my my regular stuff which i uh put in this little syringe i need to find the same syringe for this stuff because this kind of uh, consistency consistency is about the same as uh, amtec flux as you can see about the same consistency maybe a little uh not as uh, runny as uh, as Amtec flux, but uh, I'm gonna show you the process a little bit on the microscope. I really like this flux lately. So this is my. I'm running some jumpers, as you can see. Okay, so take a look. It's flux is already here. And just take a quick look how it, how it sits there and just works really nice. I don't have to add flux consistently. And I'm just gonna show you one. It's like this. This is already done. So it's just gonna run the last. See how 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 nicely it just it just you know it just sits there. It doesn't flow away. So, see, this is just so nice. I mean, for the regular jobs, for, you know, soldering wires and stuff, the stuff that doesn't really flows under the chip, it re works really well. And also, I actually did a little experiment before. I left the flux, the Amtec flux, on one of my, uh, one of my, Tick on boards actually to double check and make sure that the you know the flux is left over that it doesn't uh, it doesn't doesn't cause any uh, corrosion and this is the this is the the flux I left over this pen left over when I got this flux you know like several months ago so this I just left over with this flux on this tick on board and no i don't see any corrosion on elements anywhere and on this side is actually actually rolled it down this is amtec flux same thing you know amtec is fine amtec you know amtec fine amtec uh, flux is really good but this is just and this is i rolled it down here king bro. but yeah see this is the flux around this chip it's pretty solid, doesn't cause any corrosion. Long term, I'm talking about long term. But this is just, I really like this flux, the way it flows and it stays in, in place. That's what I like about this flux. Let me finish it up here. Run a couple more, couple more uh, wires on this line and I'll be done with it. Okay, one and the second one. Yeah, this is the 
the flex gate repair I'm doing. I've, I've done this exact repair before, so you can check out my other videos if you here for the flex gate repair. But this is just this is just showing off this flux. It kind of dries off a little bit dull, and actually it's easier to clean too. This flux is I found easier to clean with alcohol than the Amtec flux significantly. I mean not like significantly, but definitely easier. It just gets off easier. Okay. I'm gonna clean it up. But I don't know, like I'm like I'm not a chemist to know you know what's the what's going on with its uh what's going on inside of it and how bad it is when it's like uh, heating up, you know, in fumes and stuff, how toxic this flux is. But I don't know, it just works so well. And if you have a uh, proper ventilation, I don't think it's going to be any worse than the Amtec flux. And see how, how, how pretty easy to clean this flux, as you can see. I mean, it's definitely easier than Amtec. And Amtec flux, Let me show you my Amtec flux. One second. Yes, the Amtec flux is this one. This is the Amtec flux and C559V2TF. So I really like this flux. Great flux for BGA especially, but for regular jobs, you know, re removing uh, capacitors and doing uh, flex gate and stuff. I don't know. I'm probably going to be using this flux because it's just easier to work with. You don't need to add to add flux consistently. You just put a little bit and it just stays there. You know, it just does not, does not flow away like the Amtec does. So hope this video is helpful for you guys. And if you like my videos, please subscribe. And uh, have a lovely day, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.